Now to install a plugin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to plugins, click add new, and type in update URLs. This is what we're looking for, Velvet Blues update URLs. So go ahead and click install now. Then on the next screen, go ahead and activate the plugin. Now the way to use this plugin is really easy. You're gonna find the admin panel for it under tools, update URLs. And it's really simple. You have this field here for old URL and a field here for new URL. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna copy the link here that has the old URL in it. And we're gonna paste that in here. Now we don't want anything that comes after the .com or whatever uh, top level domain you're on. So .com, .org, .net, whatever. So we just want the root domain in here that it used to be. And then we're gonna put the root domain that it's at now. Now I don't want this slash at the end on either the old URL or the top or the new URL. So everything from the HTTP to the end of the .com is what I'm gonna put in here. And this is gonna update everything that has this old URL in it to this URL. Go ahead and click update URLs in page content and excerpts and links and attachments and custom fields. You can leave this blank. It says right here that it's only for uh, development sites. And all you have to do is click update URLs now. And it says, sorry, and it says success. Your URLs have been updated. So let's go back to the site and just verify that's true. I'm going to click F5 to refresh it. And then if I look here in the code at that exact same link, it says galliottiswinecellar.com slash the club. So it's updated that. Let's look at the image. You can see in the image that it's been updated to galliottiswinecellar.com as well. So this is no longer a broken link. And basically all of the URLs that pointed to anything on the old domain are now have now been redirected to point to the same exact things but on the new domain. And that's how you use the Velvet Blues Update URLs plugin. Once you're done with it, uh, this is really something that you only need as a one-time fix. So you can go ahead and uninstall it just to keep your plugins clean. It's always a good idea to just uninstall and delete uh, any plugins that you're not continuing to use. But, you know, if you've moved from one domain to another, this is pretty much exactly what you need to fix uh, all, the, all the URL problems that come up with that. And as you can see, it's quick and easy and makes you look like a genius. Thanks a lot, and uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and click like, and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you, as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.